guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be doing another declutter and this time we are doing all of my face palettes. So in all of these palettes I have um, like cheek products, so bronzers, highlighters, and blushes. It's kind of a mixture of all of that. So before we get into it, a couple things. I decided to do this category next. I had one of you leave a comment suggesting it and I thought it was such a great idea. Um, because I wanted to do this before I do my blushes, highlighters, and bronzer individual um, like declutters. That way I know what I have in this category before I tackle those. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, the other thing that I wanted to let you guys know is what I'm doing with the makeup because I get questions every time. So most of, um, most of what I declutter goes to friends and family. Anytime I have an item that I received in PR or in gratis, meaning I did not pay for it, with my own money, it goes to friends and family as a gift. If I don't give it to friends and family, if it's something I purchased with my own money and it's still in good condition, I will be selling it on my blog sale, which I will have a link to down below. I do still have a few eyeshadow palettes available from my last declutter. Most of those are gone, but I will be adding um, things from this category if I have anything to add. All right, let's jump in. This is one of the Kevin Aquan uh, contour or like diary things. This is what it looks like on the inside. Technically, I kind of pass this back and forth between my eyeshadow palette drawer and my face palette drawer. So uh, this one here, technically it has um, these two on the bottom are cheek products and the rest are eyeshadows, but you can kind of use it however. I really do use it more as an eyeshadow palette than a face palette, but I end up putting it in my face palette drawer because I always have room in there and I don't necessarily have space for it in my eyeshadow drawer because it's so bulky. So I do think it's a really good palette. I really do like the quality. I held on to it for a long time because I liked the quality, but it's just taking up so much space and I don't reach for it often enough. So for that reason, I am going to go ahead and let go of this one. All right. And then I have the second one. So the first one I actually bought uh, when it went on clearance because they like discontinued it. But this second one I actually got in uh, PR. So I, I was sent this one. I actually really like this one. So this one I'm definitely keeping. I love that they made the cheek products bigger in this palette. I think that was a really great idea. And then the eyeshadows are just fantastic quality. But because the cheek pow powders are easier to dip your brush in, I do find myself using this more. So I will be keeping that one for sure. I think it's a really great palette. Okay, let's talk about these. I have, uh, well, I have a lot of pure, I have a lot of pure, um, like, face palettes. A lot of these came in boxy charms, which is why I have so many. Um, this one here, I think, came in a boxy charm. Yes, this is the Pure Sculptor. This came in a boxy charm. This is way too dark for me. I just, I've tried it. This powder, I think, looks really good on me. The Both of the bronzers are a little too deep. This one I can kind of pull off if I'm light-handed, but really it just doesn't work very well on me. So I am going to go ahead and declutter that one. And then I have this one here, which is the 4-in-1 Blush Book. Now this one I actually got in PR, and I love these blushes. These are really, really good quality. They're really beautiful. I love that they're kind of a mosaic, so depending on how you swirl your brush, you're going to get a different color in each one of them. And it's so refreshing. I hate when they're the, that reflective. It doesn't work great on camera, but it is a really beautiful palette. The, pow the powders are really, really good. I'm definitely keeping this one. Okay, and then I also have this Pure palette. This one is the Bronze and Brighton. This one also came in a BoxyCharm. I feel like we get a lot of these cheek uh, like palettes from Pure in BoxyCharms. This one, again, too deep for my skin tone. I actually really like this highlighter, though. It's really, really pretty, but... The blush and the bronzer are too dark for me, so I'm going to declutter that. As long as we're doing the pure, let's get them all out of the way. I also have this one here, which came in uh, PR. This is the Contour Diaries, and this I love. Now, these colors are way better suited for my skin tone than that first contour pal palette I showed you. Um, I really love all of these. You can see I've used it quite a bit, especially this powder over here. I think it's a great contour powder, so um, I definitely will be keeping that one. Okay, I think that's it for Pure. So let's move on to some of my glow kits. This one here is the Anastasia Glow Kit with the Nicole Guerrero one. Oh, I like this one. I think it is nice. But do I use it enough? Trying to decide if I need it. <laughs> okay, this is going to be a maybe for a minute because I'm having a hard time. At first I was like, oh, just get rid of it, Lisa. You don't use it enough. But now I'm thinking, okay, if I get rid of enough other stuff, will I use it? I don't know. Let me set that to the side and let's see what else we can get rid of here. 
All right, definitely keeping this one. This is my favorite glow kit of the ones that I own. This is the Sugar Glow Kit. The reason I love this is because every single one of these highlighters looks great on my skin tone, so definitely keeping that one. This one, however, the Aurora one, this one does not look so good on me, and I just never, ever reach for it, so I'm really not into the more colorful highlighters. It just doesn't look good on me, I don't think, so I'm going to go ahead and declutter that one. Okay, what other easy decisions do I have here? Let's do some easy decisions. Well, I know that I want to keep my Charlotte Till Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow. I think this is a really great product. I wouldn't repurchase it because I think it's overpriced for what you're getting, but I already spent my money on it, so I do want to get my money's worth because I think it is still a really good product. Anyway, I think it's good. It's just not that. It doesn't blow me away. Okay, this is one of my favorites, though, of, of what I own. This is the NARS uh, Bonk de Sable Highlighting Trio. I told you guys in my things I will never declutter, I'm not planning to get rid of this. I love it so much, so that's definitely staying. Here's a no-brainer. This is one I can declutter. Um, this is the Oakland Contour Palette. This I got from Shop Hush. It's actually a really decent quality. The only thing is it doesn't last on my cheeks all day and I have other contour palettes that I prefer that do last all day so I can go ahead and let go of this guy. Alright, this is one of the contour palettes that I prefer over that one. This is the Shade and Light one from Kat Von D. This one is definitely staying. It's the old packaging so I can't replace the pans but um, I'm definitely going to use this guy up eventually. I think I'm close to hitting pan on this one. There's a huge dip in the center so that I'm definitely keeping. I'm trying to get all the ones that I know for sure I'm keeping out of the way. So this MAC um, blush like um, customizable palette, this one I built myself. I don't remember all the names of the shades in it. Um, I know there's Margin and I think this is Immortal Flower and uh, Tangerine or Mandarin or something like that. But I'm definitely keeping this because I really do like the quality and I like all the shades I put in there. I know I'm not going to get rid of this. This is a little Smashbox uh, <clears throat> contour palette. This I actually got as a 500 point perk. The quality is fantastic and I love that it's little for travel. So when I t go on longer trips and I want to kind of consolidate my makeup down, I like to bring this, but it's really, really nice. So that I'm not getting rid of. Now we're going to get into some harder decisions. Let's see. All right. So I have the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Palette. Um, I don't use this enough, and again, it's got some of those more funky colors in it that I just don't see myself reaching for. I have a lot of these in single form, so I don't need this palette. I will declutter that. Okay, I have this Kevin Aquan Neo Limelight. I got this in PR. What I like about this highlighter is that you can, it's ombre, so you can swirl your brush and get one color or go over this way and get a different color. And it's basically like a million different highlighters in one, depending on how you swirl it. So, and the quality is really good. So I actually, I do want to keep this one. And this is in the shade Ibiza, by the way. Um, I do want to keep that. All right, I think I can go ahead and let go of this, actually. This is from Tarte. This is the original Skin Twinkle palette. They came out with a few different ones of these, but um, this is the original one. I picked it up right when it came out. I don't like this powder in the middle, but I actually really love both of the highlighters on either side. The thing is, I have a lot of highlighters, not only in this category, which we're going through now, but I have so many in my single highlighters that I just don't reach for this enough. And even though it's a really beautiful palette, I think I should pass it along to someone who will get more use out of it because I just don't give it enough love. All right, this Tarte product I do want to keep, however. This is the Park Avenue Princess. It's a little trio, so it comes with a um, Park Avenue Princess bronzer in the matte version which I don't have in a full size, only in here, and then a blush and a highlighter, and I love all three of the products in this palette, so this is definitely staying. I want to talk about this next. This is the Becca Jaclyn Hill Collab Palette. So this one, you get three blushes in here and two highlighters. So it's the Champagne Pop and the Prosecco Pop, which I have champagne pop in a full size. I don't think I have Prosecco pop. I think I did get it like in a boxy charm and I gave it away because I knew I had it in here. And then the three blushes. So the thing about this is, <laughs> I said I would never declutter this. I did. But I've had this in my everyday makeup drawer and I just don't reach for it. And I think, I think I'm going to go ahead and get rid of it, you guys. I just don't think I use it enough. And since I have champagne pop, champagne pop in a full size, which is the product out of here that I love the most, I don't think I need this anymore, so I am actually going to declutter that. Oh my gosh. I can already hear the comment section blowing up about my, my choice to declutter this, but again, I just don't think I use it enough, and as you guys can see, 
it's barely been touched. Like I've used it maybe five or six times. It's barely been touched. So I'd like to see someone who has been wanting this palette get their hands on it. So I'm going to go ahead and put that on my blog sale because I just don't need it. This, however, I do have a um, Becca blush trio. This one I do use. For some reason, it's just these larger palettes sometimes when it has too many products. I forget to pull it and use it. But this one here that has just three um, blushes and they're all really beautiful. I will keep that one. I love the formula of the Becca blushes. I think they're fantastic. You know what? I think since I got rid of my Jaclyn Hill palette, I feel good enough about keeping this Anastasia Nicole Guerrero palette. I don't know that this will make it through another declutter, but I'm going to keep this and see if I use it more now that I'm getting rid of some things. Okay, this little e.l.f. Um, palette, this is a contour palette. This is really fantastic. I really enjoyed this the last time I had it in my everyday makeup drawer. I will be keeping that. I also have a Anastasia blush kit. I think this is really good as well, and I really, really like it, so I'll be keeping that one. I have this Tarte blush palette. I got rid of all my single Tarte blushes. I didn't like the formula on the singles, but I think the formula in these palettes is a little better for some reason. They're a little softer, and so you can actually pick up pigment off of them where you can't on the um, ones in the pan, so I will be keeping this because I really think it's nice. And then I have this. This I just picked up in uh, the fall VIB cell. This is is a little highlighting palette from Laura Mercier. I love the, the formula of these little highlighters. I think they're fantastic and you get four shades in here. I'm definitely keeping this. This is really, really nice palette. I have this little Physicians Formula Bronze Booster. I'm going to open it because it's very reflective. So you guys can see. There we go. Um, this is a really good quality palette for drugstore. It's actually really, 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 really nice. But I kept so many contouring palettes. I just don't think I need this. But I would recommend it. I think it's fantastic quality. It's just a little bulky. And I have so many. I'm going to go ahead and let go of that one. All right. I've got a little color correcting kit here from CoverGirl. This is a really nice little color corrector. I will be keeping that. And last but not least, I have my NARS Stephen Klein palette. This is another one I was kind of avoiding making a decision on because I like it. I just don't use it enough. And now I'm, I'm looking at my stack of stuff I got rid of, and I feel like I got rid of quite a bit. So I'm hoping that I will reach for this more because it has uh, a full size of Laguna, which is one of my favorite bronzers, and I don't have it in a individual anymore. I used that one all the way up, so I only have it in here. So I would like to use this more. And then you get four blushes and another contouring powder and highlighting powder. It's just a really good palette, and of course it's discontinued, so... Um, I think I will actually hold on to that guy. All right, that was a quick and easy one. Let's see how many I decluttered. All right, so it looks like nine palettes that are working their way out of my collection. So exciting. I'm really excited. I think I did a good job. And um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. It's kind of a shorter one. Give me a thumbs up if you did. Definitely some more declutters coming up soon. I'm going to be doing my individual uh, bronzers, blushes, and highlighters here soon. So keep an eye out for those. If you're not already subscribed, please do subscribe so you don't miss out on any future content and hit that notification bell while you're at it so you get notified of my posts. And I hope you guys have a fantastic day. I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.